I, I, I pick up songs as strange places as you might imagine, like Elvis. Creative Earthlings, this week we go a little back. My girls and I decided to do a small 50s inspired photo shoot, and I thought I'd make some rockabilly inspired accessories for the occasion. All of these DIYs are very simple and easy to do, so definitely keep on watching. We're going to start with a cherry skull color pen. Flatten down a ball of red clay using your palm. Chubby. When you get it to the desirable size, pinch it on one side to create the skull jaw. With your exacto, separate what is going to be the teeth. To make sockets for the eyes, I use the end of a brush and with a nail file I did two small holes uh, as the nose. See, you don't always have to have specific tools to DIY. To make them sit like cherries usually do in cartoons, create like a little sitting area on the side of one of them so the other one can sit more comfortably. Or however one would describe this. Maybe just watch the video, don't listen to me. The next step is the stem, which couldn't be easier. Just roll out a relatively thin snake, cut it in half, connect two ends together to make a V shape, and the other two to the cherries. You can stop here if you want to, but why not add a little leaf, which is basically a novel shape with a pointy edge. you can add the eyes to the sockets we made earlier and it's up to you to add any details you want. Before you bake it you can add depth to certain areas using soft pastels wherever you feel like there would be shadows. It just makes it a bit more realistic. After baking, the colors may appear darker, especially if you leave them a little too long in the oven, <clears throat> like I did. Turn them into color pins by gluing clips on the back and a small chain piece on either side with some strong glue. I used epoxy, but I guess a 6000 would be okay. I met her accidentally. For the second part of this video, we're making a zombie finger brooch. For this one, we'll need a small piece of aluminium foil, which we're going to crease like a sausage, if you will. Then wrap it inside any color clay you like. And now you must have something like this. On one end of the, as for now, clay sausage will be the nail, and on the other, the little finger bone. To make the nail, create an oval crease and maybe remove some clay from underneath to make it look like it exceeds the finger. On the other side, you want to chop some pieces off unneatly to make it look as if it was torn apart. Ooh, spooky! To attach the pin on the back, secure it with an extra piece of clay and smooth it down. Now won't you better down by Baton Rouge For a more realistic finger, press on a few lines where the joints would be. Next, take a longish piece of white clay and completely cover the gap on the other end. Press it well for a strong bond. To make the bone, separate the tip in two and round them up a bit. Make lines to add texture and paint with soft pastels for shadows. After baking, you can paint the nail in the color of your choice. I did a coat in white to create a blank canvas and then with some regular nail polish I did a coat in purple. For our last DIY, we will be making a pair of hard earrings. 
take a bead of clay, flatten it out and pinch on one side. On the opposite side, cut a little triangle and just like that, you have a heart. And the tears I cried for that woman Flat tube in the river I'm gonna sit right here until I Now let's add a little banner for some extra rockabilly flair Roll out some white clay Before you start cutting, measure on the heart to make sure it fits Then sketch a banner and cut it out For reference sketches, you can check the links in the description and I followed you, big river, when you called. Now take the guitar. Now, as I said, mine got a tiny bit burned, so the color turned way off white, but nothing that a little paint can't fix. Now, with a very small brush, I wrote rock and roll and love on each one of these. A tip for never running out of room when you have to write something in a very small space is to start from the middle. Now seal everything with glaze and you're done! Hope you guys liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, we'd love you to stay, so go ahead and click subscribe. If you're looking for some rockabilly inspiration and want to see the pictures we took that day, you can find a link to the blog post in the description. Now leave me a comment below with what you'd like to see next. It could be anything. Your opinion matters greatly to me. Now thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you very very soon. <laughs>